Okay, good evening to you all. Uh, I'm Vijay, uh, I'm handling the psychology. In the GS, I'm also handling environment part for the prelims point of view. So we are going to have a, a small demo on uh, psychology so that you can decide so whether the subject will be suitable for you. Uh, so how we will see is, first we will try to see psychology as a optional subject. So what is the psychology? We let's understand psychology as a subject. What's the subject matter of it? And then we will try to see psychology from the UPC point of view. So what is the syllabus? So how the UPC approach on psychology, we will try to see. And the third one, we will try to see how we will take the program. So it's a five months program it will be. So what we will be dealing in the optional classes, what are the materials we will be dealing. And even after the prelims, when you come for the main series, so how our program will be. So we'll try to see. And then finally, for a doubt clearing session, completely whatever the doubts you have, you can do it. And uh, for the online students, uh, anyway, my chat box is open. If you have any doubts, we can post it. So finally, if you want to talk also, we can have a discussion. Should yeah? Okay, so psychology. Uh, so before that, so how many of you are engineers? Hmm. Okay, good. So how many of you from uh, uh, arts background, pure arts background? Okay, pure science background, pure science on BSc, MSc on the oh, Okay, good. Fine. Any other uh, like law, chartered accountancy, and the other courses? Any other MBA, other courses? Okay, fine. Yes. Sorry. So, you can see some pictures. So, you can see a, a sportsman. You can see Hitler. So, you can see one uh, a boy who goes to a doctor. Still today, many has a fear for taking an injection. Still they have anxiety to see a doctor. And you can see the aggressive behavior. Even you can see a terrorism. And you can also see Gandhi picture. So there is one connecting factor. That connecting factor is behavior. So psychology is study about behaviors. So every behavior. So for example, so you take morning. So what do you do? Morning you do all your basic activities. Then you come for the class. Then you go back, so see, watch movie or read and then sleep. So it's a behavior, am I right? So psychology is a study of behavior. You can see some extremes of behavior. People, can you tell me the Usain Bolt and the sportsman? So what is the unique thing you find in him? The unique can you find in Usain Bolt? Perseverance, am I right? Achievement motivation. Okay, and the Vidam Yerchi. Uh, why this person has got it? question and you can see Gandhi so Gandhi ke, you just see Gandhi had appearance is a very normal appearance and he does not have any money only education no, no he is not a very exceptional educational career but despite of that Gandhi when he gave a call across the nation everyone came for it Gandhi is an exceptional leader today we have many leaders and the leaders now they come by the political power or money power but Gandhi has come through the personal power that is something personality am right so, in your Patina personality, in your Patina personality. Now you see Hitler. Hmm. See, Hitler is able to govern the entire German Patina, and also he has a very aggressive behavior and the racial attitude. Okay, why Hitler has got it? And you can see this, this, this terrorist. Uh, if you take a terrorist, whether terrorist is a psychopath, Nalva terrorist in Bakarilla, so on the psychological, do you have do they have any problem? Uh, may not be. Psychopath and the total are different. But why such an aggressive attitude they have? Ajman Kasab. So what made he's a normal person? What made him to you know take the gun and fire at the you know thousands and thousands of people? So ultimate Patina, it's all personality and behavior. Now in psychology, we try to understand why this behavior comes. Whether it can be a very normal behavior, so even a studying behavior, any type of a behavior only, we try to study in the psychology. But we study in a very systematic way. If you see, here there are some questions. So psychology tries to answer why some are shy, why some are talkative. So some people will be very talkative, that is very extrovert. So they want to be with friends. But some people will be very shy, will be very reserved. So what makes a person to be shy? What makes a person to be introverted or extroverted? And what is the characteristics? When you see the person, you know, when he's a shy, definitely you can tell these are the characteristics he has. When he's a very extrovert, these are the characteristics they have. So 
what you can answer once you study a psychology you will be able to answer why a person is like this why a person behave in this manner so again if someone says something bad about me why i obsess for a long time uh, why obsess na adha patti thirupu thirupu yen think pandru for some people it happens for some people they don't bother whatever happens just like that they will keep on moving on ana sila perku la vandu if anyone happens to them for two days or three days night la sleep e irukadu am right so that is something called obsession so why it happens to them so you can get an answer from the psychology okay so this is related to uh, our education why people cannot sit and study for a long time so why adu this is very important for our upsc upsc la pathina what we need is to we need to sit and study for a long stretch all on the some people what they do is they will be roaming or one hour padipanga then they will wake up then they will stand then they will roam so they will try to why they are not able to sit what makes them so you can find some answers from psychology and why forgetting happens okay again related to education psychology okay why honor killing hmm. so honor killing kelvi pattirpinga am right gaurav kolai so what is that see the uh, the father and mother they brings up the child for 21 22 years with all the affection just for the sake of caste they are even ready to kill their child so andalavuku what what makes them and the social context like that is something prejudice and discrimination so why why and honor killing happens what makes that particular community or what makes that particular parents to kill their own child or daughter or son just for the sake of caste why they cannot give up the caste why cannot they can give up they cannot give up the religion okay how people could crime sorry commit such a inhuman crime like nirbhaya case so probably nirbhaya delhi case still better be so in that you can see uh, adolescence probably 17 years of course is before 18 years he is the one has done the of course the gravest crime so why abin patina when you see that probably it is a rape in ramari theriyum but actually it's not a rape so rape it's not only related to sexual it is something an aggression on the women actually so this is one and why advertisement use attractive models so today you see lot of other so you can see different dimension I'm just taking this uh, different questions from different dimension so for all this we can try to find out some answer from psychology so psychology abina it's about behavior we try to study about behavior we try to study why that particular behavior happens so what is the reason for that behavior so based on that we try to understand how this particular person will behave in the future so idha broader we try to understand about psychology so now what is the formal definition psychology is a study of human behavior and mental process in the two terms are there here there are two terms so one is human behavior so when i say human behavior it is a overt behavior external behavior now you come and sit here in the class uh, this is a external behavior so what is the reason you want to know about psychology you want to know how the psychology subject will be how the faculty will teach so adukaga vandirpinga so that is something called mental process ulla mind la odi irukom am right so we need to know both ungal external behavior nu theriyum we should also know the external behavior at the same time we should also know what is running inside the mind so idhila what is running inside the mind that is called internal mental process and the internal mental process 100% we cannot find out but tentatively we can guess what is running inside their mind so adha vandu psychology psychology is a study of overt behavior and internal process so when you see overt behavior ah it can be any type of a behavior aggressive behavior gossiping behavior so whatever the behaviors or now whatever i said that it all comes under the, even a smoking behavior so all overt behavior you see it you observe it so then you try to use your psychology and try to tell then there is something called internal mental process uh, here you have feelings you have thoughts so within that we have love sex anger depression uh, this and all memories this and all something you cannot see it which is inside yes we are trying to study that also our psychology in the subject la so when you see the general psychology the 12 14 chapters the chapters in all the chapters you will find we will try to understand about the overt behavior all the external behavior and also internal mental process so that is what if you see the syllabus you see motivation emotion okay learning memory so adle some of the chapters will be dedicated for the internal mental process some of the chapter if you take emotions and all okay even external avo emotions are paakla but sometimes some people externally they cover up their emotion so internally you can also understand this is what we try to study in the 
psychology okay ultimate what you are going to study abina so we are trying to understand behaviors external behavior as well as internal mental process ultimately you will try to tell when you observe someone you try to tell what type of behavior it is and the behavior in a behavior so adu vandu like a gandhi behavior or it can be a nazi your hitler behavior it can be a sportsman behavior it can be a criminal behavior it can be a terrorist behavior or normal even your parents your father sometimes your father may be very strict sometimes your father may be very liberal so some fathers are very strict some fathers are very liberal some mothers are very strict some mothers are very liberal ah any behavior adu or chinna behavior a irukalam even it can be a small behavior it can be a very largest behavior so what is the reason for the what is the type of behavior and the behavior in the category la kondu varalam what is the type of behavior that we are going to see and then second that we need to explain the reason for the behavior why that behavior happens why this person behaves in this way what makes gandhi to be in that way so why he took certain principle and he stick on to the principle till then which which normal people cannot do it that is the reason gandhi is still you know gandhi is not a normal person so it's not so easy to become like a gandhi am right so hitler is not a normal person so he is a exceptional whether bad, good bad in the vada the personality the behavior is totally exceptional so we try to understand what is the reason for the behavior once you understand that then ah we can do how this person will react in the future ivanga epdi nadupanga so that is what predict how they will react in the future and then if it is a desirable behavior it's a good behavior okay we can leave it suppose if it is a bad behavior undesirable behavior na change the behavior and mental process okay so our habits are okay so suppose someone will have a drug behavior ah that is undesirable behavior yes through psychology we try to change it so some people will not go for the job at all sala per paanga job ke po matanga or they will go for a job they will stay they will be staying the job for 2 3 months at time resign mundu vandranga then they go for next job they will come out they will go for next job they will come out so they will get married divorce come out they will get married the divorce come out sala per paanga am i right so this is something they have a problem in the behavior so adha vandu we try to understand and we try to change that behavior we try to change that mental process so adha vandu a good mental process or good behavior still we are trying to change it this is what we are doing it okay how we are going to do this abina uh, there is a systematic way so psychology is a one scientific subject so you probably would have read some psychology books outside books la padichirpinga so how to read mind and uh, so that and all is not part of our syllabus our syllabus is a very systematic ipo eppadi how you are going to study sociology how you are going to study anthropology like that only you are going to study psychology so when you come to our psychology we have certain schools of thought you can see that the entire psychology the paper 1 and paper 2 revolves only on this four schools of thought now is the major the one is the psychodynamic perspective which is the sigmund freud sigmund freud and his followers so our the perspective they say how a psychologist has to study the behavior avanga vandu they tell what is the reason for a particular behavior so how to study it how to predict it they have their own view they have their own method so that is one number two is behaviorist behaviorism perspective so which comes like skinner and other so they have their own view number three is cognitive today this is what more dominating cognitive na it is a internal mental process so the fourth one is humanistic carl rogers the entire psychology patina if you get into all the chapter only this four perspective will be there some chapter will have two perspective irukum learning or chapter irukum that learning chapter will have only mostly behaviorist perspective cognitive perspective if you come to personality chapter personality is a very that is a crux chapter where all the four perspective will be there so when we study psychology when we write psychology we have to write only under this perspective so if you go to all the social sciences like anthropology sociology everything definitely there will be some sort of school of thought now, political science you have to write only under the school of thought you cannot write our own see we will have our own experience adha na edukka mudiyad because the reason is it may not be scientific because they have done some studies and uh, they have done some systematic method based on that they have found something that is what they have given to us now what we are going to do is we are we are going to take it we are going to do it. so it's not a very big thing romba romba simple as the first day of our class introduction to psychology itself i am going to teach what is the four perspective that time itself we will get it once you are very clear in this four perspective 
I will say that 30 to 40 percent of your chapter is 30 to 40 percent of your syllabus is over. Subject knowledge is over. So rest of the one the individual chapter wise certain specific aspects are there. That is what you have to see it. So ultimately we are going to see only the four perspective. Apart from that one more perspective is there. That is social psychology perspective. Actually, social psychology perspective, again, it is also derived from the other three, four perspectives. Huh? I will not say it's a new perspective. So broader in the four perspectives, huh? the entire psychology chapters, we are going to see it. And apart from this, one more perspective is there. Uh, biological medical perspective that we are not going to deal. This is purely for the doctors. Doctors, huh? because you know that in the MBBS, that is in the doctor, you have one doctor psychiatrist, am I right? Uh, they only study about the medical. So we are not going to get into the medical part, the other part. So we are going to only see this three part, that is the four parts. This four schools of thought only, we are going to see it. Okay, now, so generally I have given what is psychology subject. So what is it, it's nothing but understanding the behavior. We try to understand the behavior. We try to tell what is the type of a behavior. What is the reason for it? We try to, you know, predict how the person will behave and we try to change. Under this four perspective, under this four perspective, we are going to do it. Now, just in the psychology subject. So from the, especially from the UPC point of view, we have to see. First thing, uh, that is, this is a basic doubt many students have. So many people think that psychology in the term, many people, it's giving an impression it is something related to medical or something. Uh, please understand, psychology, it is coming under the social sciences. So right now, it has only the status of social sciences now. So you, it, is, it is not a very pure science. It does not have the status of physics, chemistry, or botany, or zoology, medical science, and the status is Because the reason is, many think we are going to only, because when we talk about mind, we cannot be very, because mind, mind, where is mind? Ah, it's very difficult to prove. So in that sense, it is not a, a uh, uh, it's not a pure science, it is a social science. So the, many people, many, many are engineers, they have a doubt, especially for the freshers. So whether I can take psychology, you have to keep in mind, psychology, anyone can take it. Because if you see MSc psychology, you want to apply for MSc psychology. You want to apply for MSc, Econo MSc uh, Zoology, MSc Botany or MA Economics, you just go to University of Madras or something, you see the qualification. MSc Psychology, the qualification is any graduation. But whereas if you take MA Economics, they will ask BA Economics. When you take uh, MSc Botany, they will say BA, uh, sorry, BSc Botany. But Psychology, basically it is a general subject. So even if you want to pursue a MSc also, there is no need for any prior graduation. So anyone can take, because if you see the nature of the subject, when you get into it, you will understand it is more of a social sciences, social sciences, behavioral sciences. Number two, it does not need any specific background, as I told you. So whether you are a BA, English literature, or Tamil literature, you come from BSc, you come from... Uh, uh, any other back engineering background or any other law background does not matter. So when you see, you can see that, and actually, our student who were clears, most of them are engineers. Now, eighty percent engineers are educated as of now. So it does not need any specific background. Suppose some people will BSc psychology background or that they will have some advantage. That's all. So no need for any specific background. No need for any prior learning. Even I was saying today. Because when you enter into one or two chapters itself, you will come to know that it will be more of a social sciences now. And so it has less biological basis. Why I'm saying this is when you take a formal psychology, normally when, when people study about BSc psychology and all, at least they will try to study about brain. At least one chapter will be on brain, brain parts. But in our UPC syllabus, even that also is not there. Even we are not going to, do, even though we study psychology in mind, we are not going to study anything about brain. So brain, brain parts, we are not going to deal. We are directly going to get into introduction, directly see various chapters. Now. So we are not going to deal with any brain or brain parts and all. But only one or two chapter like emotions and all, one or two brain parts we will deal. For example, emotional intelligence, that is something a topic, that is something called amygdala. And one or two, you know, brain parts in one or two chapters we will see. By and large, we will not have any biological basis. So 
if you whether you need any biology or not no you don't need any biology we don't want to, you don't want any physiology so bodily parts so or any other brain parts so or any other you know biochemistry or nothing is needed it is more of a social sciences okay it is one of the popular subject and uh, it is easy to understand la okay ah this is very important yes it has immense application okay scoring paper da immense application uh, if you see the application it has a wide range of application la because i will say psychology is more of a mother subject especially for hr hr la vandu you know human resources human resources mba la pathina many concepts whatever they study in hr reward system today hr la pathina they in companies and all they talk about reward system even administrative we are talking about so in that line if you see you will find lot of application in administration so even ipo vandu russia so russia ukraine issue angi pathina mind da so why why putin has to get it Uh, sometimes they told um, uh, putin has got some psychological problems so uh, so the reason is something you know fear fear reasons uh. so if you see application you will find a very wide range of application so if you see that that is what real time uh, we will try to connect when you get into each and every chapter definite of start from learning chapter memory chapter and all you will find some real time application your daily life application you will find so in terms of social management hr administration so everywhere whether you take a criminal police everywhere definitely psychology can be connected okay it is more of a practical but has theoretical base ah, that is very important so ellame abbe practical ah kedaiyadu it is it is more practical than it's a subject is a more practical because psychology if you don't apply there is nothing alla onume illa subject la it does not have okay so it's more practical but theoretical base theoretical base na that four schools of thought am i right so i told you the psychodynamism and the four schools of thought vachida we are going to study okay then anything ah so already as i told you we are going to study psychology from the schools of thought that four schools of thought only we are going to see we are going to study from that perspective see our personal experience adha irukum ah that and all you cannot write it because that is what i want to tell okay probably you would have uh, read some murphy books or any other books padichirpinga how to read our unconscious mind adala eduthu vandu edha mudiyadhu that and all you cannot write it we have to be whatever the book says whatever the perspective says with that only we have to write so we study a very systematic psychology we understand the behavior in a systematic manners okay and it will have its terms so every chapters they will have their own terms which can be easily explanatory now it's self explanatory so most of the time those terms are important you know normally when you come to the uh, social sciences like sociology or this and all you cannot write generala generala either mudiya i mean right you there are certain terms social you know there is a sociological term psychology you know psychological term the terms we have to use it so normally that is which all the terms are self explanatory now okay as well as as i told you it is a scientific study scientific study now normally you will find some experiments small experiments and case studies social psychology na nariya attitude we talk about attitude i mean right attitude changes so now so definitely some sort of a studies will be there backed by studies or some small if experiments are not a big experiment physical experiment it is small experiments you will find so that in some chapters you will find which has to be supported so this is what generally about psychology okay and again finally i want to tell it does not deal with any pseudo psychology any pseudo psychology na okay after studying this okay whether when i see some person can i uh, infer something ala onnum panna mudiyadhu okay nothing we can do it okay it is a subject we can do it some people they study msc then they go for higher studies they systematically they do some clinical psychology and the mari some professions are there but our part just to clear this exam avladha am i right so ultimately our objective is not to become a psychologist okay whatever you study after you get into service you are not going to, yes you will be applying it but you are not going to talk with this ultimately out of some 2022 optional we have to choose one optional then the optional cho- choice should be based on our interest avladha that is what always a criteria so optional choice should not be based on anything else it should be based only on your interest enna na every optional have their own challenges you have to stick on to the subject for 4 to 5 months time okay so on the 4 to 5 months time how can you stick on you should have interest okay and the class ku varanum ra interest gs und anyway it, it is something adu adu or adu or frequency la irukum okay gs you cannot satisfy gs at all even you sit and study for 60 years also you cannot you cannot find any perfection but option is different because when you take a gs paper it is something corrected by any professor 
but optional paper every optional paper the question is set by the particular professor the it is corrected by the particular lecturer or someone so definitely it is a subject so that is the reason there is a lot of difference between gs and optional whenever we choose our optional we have to see that whether this optional whether it creates interest in me so that you will sit more you will study more when you study because it's a competitive exam you have to understand when you automatically when you have an interest automatically you study well automatically you will perform well you get more marks so that is a only way that is a only way to choose your option whichever option you choose for it okay okay see so as a chapters wise abdin padina we will have some around uh, 14 chapters so broadly in that some around uh, 10 chapters are very important chapters most of the time the questions will be focusing on the 10 chapters so i will just give a, a small view so first chapter will be introduction uh, introduction to psychology so in that we will try to understand how the psychology got evolved and then we will try to understand the four perspective adhile and the four perspective oda basics fundamental we will try to see it then there is a chapter called methods and research methods so basically in this chapter we try to understand if anyone conducts a research how they conduct a research so what is the start what is the starting stage how it ends so normally few questions only is being asked from this area number 3 development of human behavior ah uh, here when a child is born till their death so what are the different stages for example uh, right now you are in the young adulthood am i right you probably you will be in the teen so from the teen you have come to the young adulthood so in the young adulthood there are certain expectation from the society there are certain development task you know the development task uh, by this time you have to go for a job first you have to try to find out a job you have to go for a job then uh, you should get married then you should have a children it is all society is expecting from you this is what we call development task idu pannala abina suppose you say that you will not get married hmm. then what happen so relatives parents la uh, they will start putting a pressure uh, this is culture this is our culture so this is what so when you come to 40 45 years ah uh, yes there are certain development task when you come to the age for 60 years per no 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 what you have to do ah uh, you have to adjust to that because that time your body also goes off you will not have any money you will not have any job just like that you need to adjust to that your body adjust to the society adjust to the family you have to do so this is the development of human behavior so inge vandu we are not going to see the biological development we are going to see only the social development more focus on the social development then comes sensation attention and perception so normally how our attention process happen so when you see something how do you perceive that's called the sensation perception then comes the learning chapter ah uh, learning chapter undu idu da this is very important learning not not book reading this is some whatever now you come to the class i will say it's a learning you go back you sit and eat that is also learning so in our life we are nothing but a programmed animal that's what i will say so we are going to study about learning and then second next seventh chapter is memory process ah uh, so memory process again we are not going to see biological we are going to see psychological so basically our memory we have three system so whatever you see whatever you hear that is called sensory memory so from there it goes inside there is something called short term memory okay and then it goes on long term memory so three memory system we have we are going to see what is the three memory system how the memory system works then comes thinking and problem solving this is cognitive internal ah uh, namada thinking process how it happens how the thought process happen and then how do you solve problem so now it's not a mathematical problem it is our real time problem whenever you face a problem how do you solve your real time problem and within the chapter it's a very broad chapter within that also we have decision making okay ipo pathina even you see optionals different optional you will see a demo finally you will take a decision ah uh, what is involved in a decision making adha normal decision making la many people will do fallacy fallacy na errors konuvanga so we will try to understand what are the different types of errors people will do in a decision making then creativity irukum illa elements this is a good chapter thinking problem solving and the creativity and decision making then comes motivation emotion ah motivation is a very nice chapter so right now you after your graduation so all the way you come for the civil service am i right so you will be prepared for next two years to prepare for civil service so badi na you could have also gone for a job job kuda poirukalam okay even you would have gone through your campus probably you would have got a campus you would have left the campus or probably you could have tried some job but despite of that you come and sit here ipo uh, what motivates you bala question what is the reason that you have to come for here ipo idu la ulla what is that what is making you so here through the perspective we can understand 
what is the real intention you have really whether you want to do service to the society or whether you want power personal power sala per varumbodhu na powerful ah irukano so when you say i want to be more powerful na apo from the childhood you have some inferiority complex edho or inferiority complex irundite irundirukku am right so in order to compensate that inferiority complex only some people will say that i want more power uh, so we are trying to understand what motivates everything what is the motivation and emotion so how we experience emotion so what are the different types of emotions we experience then comes the next chapter intelligence intelligence is a very it's a little theoretical chapter so it's a little very difficult to define intelligence intelligence is not normal iq we talk about but here in this chapter intelligence is something we say that how you understand the world how you prepare yourself to adjust to the world and how you adapt and succeed in the world that is what we are going to see in this chapter intelligence ipo vandu gandhi i will say gandhi is intelligent but if you go and give a iq test probably gandhi will be scoring only 100 or not apo what gandhi intelligence has got uh, i will say that he, what gandhi has got a practical intelligence he know how to deal the people sala perku vanda the people intelligence irukum some people will be mathematically good some people will be scientists so intelligence irukku over through over mark so everyone will have different type of intelligence so we are going to see because once upon a time we thought that intelligence na the person who gets high mark in the school ஆ ஸ்கூல்ல வந்து ஒருத்தர் நல்ல ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ரேங்க் ஆயிருப்பார் யுவர் டீச்சர் வில் டெல் திஸ் பாய் இஸ் ஆல்வேஸ் ஏ இன்டெலிஜென்ட் பாய் ஆ தட் இஸ் நாட் இன்டெலிஜென்ட் அட் ஆல் ஆக்சுவலி சோ ஒன்ஸ் அப்ஆன் அ டைம் வி தாட் தட் இஸ் இன்டெலிஜென்ட் நோ बिकॉज वी ஃபவுண்ட் தட் தேர் ஆர் சம் பீப்பிள் ஹூ ஸ்கோர் வெரி ஹை மார்க்ஸ் இன் தி ஸ்கூல்ஸ் காலேजेस எல்லாம் வருவாங்க பட் ரியல் டைம் லைஃப்ல when they get into a job or when they get into any other corporate or government job they will not be able to succeed சோ அதான் சோ ஈவன் யூ சீ எனி எனி ஈவன் கேட் எக்ஸாம் கேட் எக்ஸாம்ல டாப் 100% percentile ஒருத்தர் வாங்கி வந்திருப்பார் even ias exam you top one will get suppose you see that in ias exam the person rank one who has got top one so he should be a top performer in the job uh, whether it is like that maybe may not be i will not say may not maybe may not be so rank one suppose in this year a person has got rank one so he become an ias in one particular state so according to the uh, your theory if he is a rank one now he should be the top most performer he is a top most ias performer in that particular state irukano but whether it is like that no so lot of difference between academic intelligence and practical intelligence this is what we are going to see it and then the 11th chapter is a crux chapter personality uh, this is what it's i will say it's a convergence of all the chapters so inge vande we are trying to understand what type of a person we are so what makes personality so whether you can be emotionally very sensitive person or you can be a very very shy person so ungalku no triads irukum right so if i ask you what type of a person you will tell i am of this type of a person ah uh, what why it happens ye and mari vandirukku and also some will be desirable some will be very undesirable so we need to change the undesirable that we are going to see in this chapter and then the next chapter is attitude chapter so you know what is attitude so attitude is something you create a you know evaluation of a world am i right attitude indrathu or idu so there is a lot of difference between attitude and behavior behavior is the external attitude is the ulle inna irukku manobhavam am i right sometimes they say uh, so by this time you would have got attitude suppose how many of you like iphone hmm. so some people will say yes i like iphone how many of you don't like iphone some will say i don't like iphone i will say it's an attitude by this time you would have got attitude towards a political party so we have different bjp congress if attitude develop i come am i right uh, once the attitude is develop it's very difficult to change so we will try to see why that attitude it can be a political attitude it can be any sort of attitudes so why that attitude develops and we will try to see how to change that attitude and we have a next chapter language and communication so here basic language how the language development process happen so because we have different languages in this world and today we are debating on the vernacular language and all so two language formula and all so that is one of the major debate we will try to see because once upon a time in us they told that if anyone studies two or three languages their intelligence comes down adala oru thara vandu oru language dhaan padikano appdi solitte one study came in us based on that us court also said that no, in united state no one should study any other language only english should be the only language but now in the language chapter now we have come to know that if a person knows multiple languages it has more advantage their intelligence level improves their cognitive their mental speed improves better so language is one and then within that we will see communication so how do we communicate communication process and all and then modern contemporary so in that we will try to see like hypnosis meditation 
So really whether it is true, hypnosis is true, or so meditation, drug states, some people go for different types of drugs. Right? So we will see alcohol, start from alcohol, smoking to narcotics and the different types of drugs, what influences marjuna, kanja, so what influences the person, what are the changes that happens that we are going to see. So this is what we call the foundation of the psychology. So our major focus will be in these chapters. It is the core of the psychology. All the chapter, definitely you are going to see only the four perspective now. Okay, most of the time I will say three months of time. I will say in the four and a half months, long, three months of time. We will be dedicating this. So when you are strong in this, this is something which is very easy. Application. Because if you see all the optional paper, paper two will be application. So most of the time, application is nothing but you have to take from the paper one and you have to apply it. Okay, there is a standard way how to apply. So how psychology can be applied in education, how psychology can be, it's application. So application number four. So this is what completely all applications, you will see that. If you are good in paper one, paper two is not a challenge at all. Because most of the time you see, many people study paper two only for a month's time long. Month's time long, they will get a good mark in paper two. Paper one, na, yes, it's really challenging. Challenging in the sense because it has its own theory and content. Allah, you have to give more investment. Okay. Okay. So, coming to our class sessions and book sources. So, as a book source for paper one, paper two, basically NCRT plus one plus two book. Uh, see, I will not say it's a mandatory. If you do one glance, that will be better. For the entire paper one, I am going to give a book. So, that will be actually two book I'm going to give for the paper one. So that is more than sufficient. And the book is that book. That is what psychology by SA book. It's a it's a notes. It's a sort of a notes which is extracted from many books. Content not for sales. Only for our student we do it. Since we take it from multiple sources, we give it. So on the word book if you study that itself is more than sufficient. Apart from our whatever class teaching, class notes will be there. Because we don't dictate, you know that. Because dictation it will take more time. It's no use. So very important concepts, I will try to dictate it. So every chapter when I talk about a learning chapter, yes, so normally one, one class or two class will be for learning, two classes generally will be for learning chapter. So we st I will tell the concept, if you go and read from the book, it will be very clear. Okay, so this is what for paper one. So you don't want to get anything for paper one. Paper two, just only one book you have to get, that is Applied Psychology by Marx one. And whatever book is standard book, huh? that you have to get it from the market, okay. So this is what is more than sufficient. Apart from this, if you are interested, Abdina, no sir, I want just reference book, Abdina, if you are interested. Na, in the class, I will just advise you one or two reference book. If you want, you can read it. But I will say that for the UPC point of view, attending the class regularly and reading that book multiple times is sufficient. You know, you know that UPC is a revision now. Okay, because it's very, once you, you attend the class, you will know that the subject is not very complicated. But the thing is, you have to read, 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 write. Writing practice is very important. In UPSC, we have writing practice. Now. Whatever option you choose, this is what standard rule. There is no you know, change in the rule. Okay. So schedule, as I, uh, you know that it's a uh, weekend classes. So normally we may start at 9.30 to uh, probably 1, 1, 1 1.15. What we will have is initially we will have little three hour session. Slowly we will stretch. Okay, uh, in between that we will have some break, 20 to 30 minutes of break, we will take it. We can Saturday, Sunday. Extra classes, uh, sometime on holidays with student consensus. So, if everyone is okay with it, we can have. Enna idu or benefit on the little we can complete early. Konjo on the extra classes na, little we don't want to stretch. Because optional portholoke, what is very important na, definitely, we need to see 100% paper 1. Paper 1, le, we should not leave any topic. So paper 2, le, at, uh, there are certain topics mandatory we have to see. 80, 70 to 80 percent we have to see. So at the complete point of work, we have to be, our classes will go. But it will be over by 4 and a half to 5 months time. So maximum 5 months time it will be over. So if you come for some extra classes, early holiday, not a major holiday, minor holidays, le, if you are ready, Abdina, we will have. If the students are not ready now, we will not have it. This is very important. 
every fortnight every two weeks we will have a test so is in, this is where really your performance are tested okay in the test term mattum correct ah determine panuvanga so definitely we will have 6 to 7 tests we will have okay in the cl class program board okay after the class program after the prelims okay generally uh, prelims la mudicha piragu before the mains also that mains test also you take it without paying uh, any fees ena adu edutha dhaan konjam nalla irukum okay so uh, class pro program bodu whenever you have a class program in that class program every two weeks test vandu mandatory you have to attend appo dhaan you know how to read okay so if you are not writing the test abina appo ninge where you stand in the theory ampidum okay so subject kekadhu nalla irukum examples la nariya irukum okay so that is different but you have to ultimately that has to come in the paper okay because when they see the paper they do not know who are you am right avanga yaarne theriyadhu unga paper the paper has to speak ultimate ena if you are not bringing into the words you are not bringing into paper no no use use ekidad anyway in the class lay way after every chapter we will do some discussion on some questions generally adu pannuvom we will do the discussion on the questions what are the previous year questions that has come how you need to approach and systematically on the uh, two weeks uh, test two weeks test irukum that i will correct it and i will give a feedback of it we will do a test discussion ena test nrudu romba important okay so one class padichittu pora mattum no use so that is what you have to be you have to go with it because i cannot come and call everyone vaanga vaanga solla mudiyadhu am right so you have to cooperate with that okay that is one test discussion and review of the individual papers that will be done okay adukaprom sometimes for some topics in order to enhance your knowledge i may ask you to do some konjam chinna chinna task kudukalam yena because learning popping classical tradition popping that is directly connected in your practical lifetime real time life so i made practical lifetime examples like a task assignment when i give it you try to work on the assignment so that your in your knowledge enrichment will be better so that we have to do it so idu da vandu bruno mentoring for needy student needy student anyway you will have your own mentor that is different since psychology nam bodu definitely you know so we should also be a because we should be a mentor psychologists na unmaya mentor a irukonu am right so if you struggle in gs or if you struggle in psychology so definitely you have to come yana adu paakanum because ultimately ah vandu your gs mark is also very important okay so that is what we do it okay so i think i have given a very broad view of it so or broad ah kadachirukom uh so ultimately so i told what is the subject so optional subject porthalukku so choosing the optional subject i will say that the one on one criteria should be your interest adha dhaan criteria va irukum there should not be any other criteria for choosing optional so if you choose based on that definitely you will stick on to the subject you will go for it so you can see the syllabus you have seen the demo okay probably you will be seeing other demos also you can see it you can see uh, some syllabus and then based on that you decide okay see course duration uh, so it is four and a half months less than five months it will not go more than five months it is four and a half months four and a half to five months other sort of course duration our syllabus should be completed sometimes when the last i think last last year la konja nariya rainy season a irundhadu okay so uh, and the time vandu some yena weekend na classes suppose or weekend poichinaale we may lose it appo vandu definitely we need to do it okay it's not about you know it's about the completion of the syllabus so definitely it will be over by good 4 and 1/2 to 5 months time 5 months nu vechukonga mind la paper 4 la we have some four five chapters related to gs attitudes changing others behavior case study ku romba use aagum psychology will be very useful for the case study interview ku definitely use aagum when you go and tell psychology naale they will get uh, you know excited to ask some question on psychology sigmund freud and there are four questions standard they will ask psychology student na subject la or two question definitely they will ask okay paper 4 la definitely it can be useful but anyway i will say that your your optional choice should not be based on the the other factors it should be based on your idla see success rate of the subject on the you can see that last year some around five students have cleared so 274 number so students are 274 and we have others which is not our student who have gone up to 290 
actually you can see that every year from all the subjects you will find some students will be getting cleared ala doubt e varam okay so success rate irukku success rate illama la illa but the question is if you see top 10 rank abadina it is not only decided by the optional adha dhan paakanum it is decided by your gs in the varsham it has higher your essay and ethics paper has played a very important role sala per la ethics la nalla mark eduthirukanga they have scored 140 150 so 150 130 140 so and interview mark idu moonume play pannu because optional mark alone will not decide please keep in mind optional mark um irukku okay normally choose pannum bodhu because gs la vandu it's a equal platform but optional is not equal platform so one will be writing mathematics okay mathematics la pathina or full ah 250 250 um potta paaru Uh, whether all the mathematics are optional they can choose it no they will not choose it what they do is that is what once again it was asked in the supreme court upsc told that we have our own system so they say that on the 22 20 plus option okay okay from all the optional on the top 5% they choose it to ensure that the top 5% adhu vandu they said that some moderation la they are doing it so they ensure that from every optional they choose that on the top performer in that optional they will choose it the only question is in that option top performer you should come all that see basically we will have two batches this is a batch right now which we are going to have in the next week and then by the month of december we will have another batch that is november to december that is a second batch but better join this batch as i said and the batch will be prelims nariya idha so the five months la vandu you will have some test every two weeks we will have a test so the test paper will be once the test is over uh, normally we will have the test in the weekday in a weekend classes na or wednesday or thursday or test vechite uh, the particular saturday class we will do a test discussion first one hour test discussion we will do it what type of answer it should be how you should have written it and then the individual paper will be written and uh, the review will be given so idu vandu we will do it in the class on the four five months time la ponu and then this will be over by october month november month கரெக்டா நம்ம புரோகிராம் பண்ண முடியும் நவம்பர்ல சோ ஆஃப்டர் தட் யூ ஷட் ஃபர்கெட் தி சப்ஜெக்ட் விச் எவர் தி ஆப்ஷன் சப்ஜெக்ட் யூ ஷட் ஃபர்கெட் இட் யூ ஹேவ் டு ஒன்லி பிரிபெர் ஃபார் பிரிலிம்ஸ் நான் பிரிலிம்ஸ் இல்லனா நதிங் ஐ அம் ரைட் சோ ஆஃப்டர் தி பிரிலிம்ஸ் வினர் ஆ சைக்காலஜி ஆப்ஷனல் தென் அகைன் யூ கம் அண்ட் என்ரோல் ஃபார் தி சைக்காலஜி மெயின்ஸ் டெஸ்ட் சீரிஸ் இன் தட் யூ வில் ஹேவ் நைன் டெஸ்ட் சோ ஃபார் தட் யூ டோன்ட் வாண்ட் டு ஜஸ்ட் ஒன்லி என்ரோல்மென்ட் மட்டும் பண்ணு ஜஸ்ட் ஃபார் தி சேக் ஆஃப் என்ரோல்மென்ட் ஒரு 100 ரூபீஸ் கொடுத்து என்ரோல்மென்ட் மேல பண்ணு தட் நைன் டெஸ்ட் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் பிஃபோர் யுவர் மெயின்ஸ் so in the test you will do and the test you will you will be more well equipped okayla ena and the eludra idu varanum because the way the questions because it's a ups exam competitive exam unga degree mari romba general la kekka matta what is classical conditioning and other questions la kekka matta so if you go to any optional questions will be tweaked abadi dhaan irukum ena that is purposefully they have kept like that so that and the writing skills understanding understanding the question writing the answer is very important adu vandu practice la varum that is what for this entire exam you don't need any exceptional intelligence la thevai illa average intelligence is more than sufficient that is what i think they would have told you or average intelligence la podu but the only thing is hard work hard work mattum da fetch panna inga strategy gitchi la onume kedaiyadhu okay konja smart work irukke but what is more i will say that 90 95% it's hard work da people who do hard work da that is what you can see from pan india people will be there ipo ninga cat exam poi paarenga you see the type of people selected in the cat exam adu undu or urban cream mattum da but you see this exam you can see across india rural la irukla so normal avanga father vandu pathina or agriculture ah irukla he will come illa farmer vandu normal labor ah kuda irukla he will come ah so that means it does not have any other that upsc and the adha intelligence of upsc they have made that exam they have made that question in such a way that it gives a equal platform to everyone so whether you are uh, you would have studied your subject in uh, vernacular language tamil you have perched that's not matter at all you know because upsc clearly says that and the english la vandu they are not looking for it maybe essay ku vana konja paakala but apart from that in optional or gs and all they say that they are not bothered about handwriting they are not bothered about grammatical mistake they are not even bothered about spelling mistake also content irukana na paakranga that is what idea therinjirum padichale therinjirum whatever you write it with a lot of grammatical mistake padicha odane therinjirum whether you know the information or not okay so that is what they look for it the so ncert again it's up to you if you start with the ncert it will be better 
நிறைய பேர் என்சிஆர்டி தான் மேக்ஸிமம் யூஸ் பண்றாங்க ஸோ என்சிஆர்டி பெட்டர் பிகாஸ் ஐ டோன்ட் கிவ் என்சிஆர்டி திஸ் புக் தட் புக்னா உங்களுக்கும் ரொம்ப இதாக இருக்கும் ஸோ தட் இஸ் ரீசன் ஒன் புக் வாட் ஐம் கோயிங் டு கிவ் இட்ஸ் அ நோட்ஸ் பட் இட்ஸ் அ எக்ஸ்ட்ராக்டட் ஃப்ரம் மல்டிபிள் புக்ஸ் தான் Okay, apart from that, NCRT, you can substitute. You know, NCRT is a basic foundation. Yes, we are, we are also going to learn about disorders. But if you see disorders, basically there are 40 plus disorder. But in our UPSC, they have given only four disorders. Four disorder, especially anxiety disorder, depression. You know, because why they are under one serious disorder, schizophrenia. Anxiety and depression have been rather equal rate in India. In India. the rate of anxiety disorder and depression anxiety and depression is increasing because of competition stress you know and the economically movement and all so we are going to discuss about four disorders disorders um paapom therapies um paapom we are going to discuss about therapies also in paper 2 you know how to change the behavior not through therapy da and we are also going to learn about training how to give training you know ultimately as a psychologist pathina or real just forget about upsc ஒரு சைக்காலஜிஸ்டோட வேலை என்னன்னா எனி சைக்காலஜிஸ்ட் ஆஸ் ஐ டோல்ட் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த பிஹேவியர் சேஞ்ச் த பிஹேவியர் ஸோ சேஞ்சிங் த பிஹேவியர் ஹவ் யூ கேன் டூ த சேஞ்ச் த பிஹேவியர் இட் இஸ் ஒன்லி த்ரூ தெரப்பி தெர் ஆர் மெனி தெரப்பி சைக்கோடனமிக் அந்த ஸ்கூல்ஸ் ஆஃப் தாட் தெரப்பி தான் சைக்கோடனமிக் தெரப்பி காக்னேட்டிவ் தெரப்பி பிஹேவியரல் தெரப்பி ஸோ நவ் இட் இஸ் வெரி ஃபேமஸ் ஸோ தட் தெரப்பி வி வில் ட்ரை டு சி இட் பேசிக்காக தான் பிகாஸ் வி ஆர் நாட் கோயிங் ஃபார் யூனோ கிளினிக்கல் லெவல் அண்ட் ஆல் வி வில் சி தெரப்பி அண்ட் ஆல்சோ குரூப் ஆர் உங்களுக்கு எப்படி கொடுக்கணும் ட்ரைனிங் ஸோ வில் ஆல்சோ டிஸ்கஸ் ட்ரைனிங் ஸோ எல்லாமே காம்ப்ரிஹென்சாக தான் பார்ப்போம் பட் ப்ளீஸ் கீப் இன் மைண்ட் எல்லாம் பேசிக்ஸ் தான் பார்ப்போம் ஓகே அதை வச்சு தெரப்பிலாம் நம்ம பண்ண முடியாது ஓகே அதுதான் அதை வச்சு நம்ம போய் ட்ரீட்மெண்ட்லாம் கொடுக்க முடியாது தட் அண்ட் ஆல் வி கே நாட் ட்ரீட் ஜஸ்ட் பேசிக்காக வாட் இஸ் தட் பேசிக்கு அது என்ன தெரப்பி எப்படி பண்ணுறாங்க அந்த தெரப்பி ஹவு தி டூ த தெரப்பி வாட் இஸ் த பெனிஃபிட் ஆஃப் தெரப்பி வாட் இஸ் அட்வான்டேஜஸ் வாட் இஸ் த டிஸ்அட்வான்டேஜ் வில் சி ஸோ ஈவன் அ பர்சன் சஃபர் ஃப்ரம் டிப்ரெஷன் ஸோ அவங்களுக்கு எப்படி தெரப்பி கொடுப்பாங்க தட் அண்ட் ஆல் வில் சி இட் பேசிக் லெவலில் தான் பார்ப்போம் ஸோ அல்டிமேட்லி யூ நீட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஐ டோல்ட் யூ அவர் அப்ஜெக்டிவ் இஸ் டு ஸ்கோர் மார்க் தான் ஓகே அதுக்கு சப்ஜெக்ட் தேவை அதுக்கு ஒரு சப்ஜெக்ட் தேவை தட் இஸ் வாட் யூஆர் சூஸிங் ஒன் ஆப்ஷனல் ஸோ ஸ்டடிங் அண்ட் தென் ரைட்டிங் இட் அண்ட் ஸ்கோரிங் த மார்க் அதுதான் நம்மளுடைய அல்டிமேட் எய்ம் ஆகணும் தட் டூ புக் வாட் எவர் கிவிங் இட் இட் இஸ் எக்ஸ்ட்ராக்டட் ஃப்ரம் டூ ஆர் த்ரீ புக்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ ஐ வில் சே தட் தட் இஸ் சஃபிஷியன்ட் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் எயிட்டி பர்சன்ட் தட் இஸ் ஓகே தட் இஸ் ஓவர் apart from that you will anyway you will have some class notes if it is needed i will give it as a handout konja konja supplements supplementary you will have that i will give it as a handout but this two book i want you to be very strong in that because that is where your foundation thank you thank you